Grade 10 Competition Math Competition math is a great way to better understand and apply math in real life. Before we start, you should have already watched all our videos about fundamental math concepts and techniques. We will go through each question and explain in details about the most recent Grade 10 contest from the University of Waterloo. There are 25 questions in total, and we will quickly go through all questions. You can stop the video, read the questions first, and think about your own answer. Then, look at our recommended solutions. Part A. Easy questions. 1. This is a simple calculation. The answer is 3. 2. This is a simple algebra. The answer is 9. 3. This is a simple question about time. The answer is A. 4. This is a simple graph question. The answer is 3. 5. Use some imagination. The answer is C. 6. ACB is 30. So, x is 90 minus 30 equals 60. 7. If you know the formula for surface area and volume of a cube, you know the answer is E. 8. One fifth of the beads are green, which is 4. So, the total beads should be 20, and the answer is 20 minus 4, which is 16. 9. Assume the number is 100, increased by 60%, it becomes 160. To return 160 to 100, you use 60 divided by 160, which is 37.5%. 10. This is simple probability. The total combinations are 32. There are 10 combinations for exactly two opening doors. 10 divided by 32, the answer is A. Part B, medium questions. 11, use 23 minus each choice. Only 14 is not divisible by 3. The answer is C. 12. Use your imagination. There are 5 posts for the top or bottom, 4 posts for the left or right. The total posts are 8 plus 10 equals 18, minus 4 duplicate posts. The answer is 14. 13. If you know the concept of a perfect square, you know the answer is C. 14. AD is 24. So BD is 18 and AB is 6. Then, BC and CD are both 9. So AC is 6 plus 9 equals 15. 15, A is a decimal number. The square of A should be lower than A, so the answer is B. 16, if you know the formula to calculate the area of a trapezoid, you know D is 8. So DC is 30 minus 5, then minus 8. The answer is 17. 17. The total time used for Megan is 80 seconds, so Hannah only uses 75 seconds. 100 divided by 75, the answer is C. 18. The number of bars taken from the boxes is 31. If all bars are 100 grams, the total mass would be 3,100 grams. However, the total mass is only 2,920 grams, so 18 bars are 90 grams. Then, you will know the answer is B. 19, A plus B plus C is 16 times 3, which is 48, C plus D plus E is 78, A plus B plus C plus D plus E is 100. 48 plus 78, then minus 100, the value of C is 26. 20. This is a guessing game. Every two turns, the grasshopper jumps 2 cm to the west and 2 cm to the south. After 323 jumps, it moves to the correct position. The sum of the squares of the digits of 323 is 9 plus 4 plus 9 equals 22. Part C. Hard questions. 21. Since the line passes through the point, A, 0, then 0 equals m times a minus 50 or m times a equals 50. So m can be 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. The sum of all possible values of m is 93. 22. This is the same as the grade 9 question. The answer is 20. 23. This is a complex graph question. You need to figure out the shaded area of a graph. Use Pythagorean theorem, you can calculate BQ, which is the radium of the circle. Then you can calculate AP, PD, QD and other sides of those shaded triangles. Eventually, you can calculate the total area of the shaded regions, which is close to 61. 
24. This is a complex probability problem. We can stop after Karina wins three games. We use W to represent a win and L to represent a loss. The possible sequence of wins and losses can be determined. There are four possible situations. Then, we can calculate the probability for each case, and add them up. The answer is 7 over 16 in lowest terms, so A plus B is 23. 25. This is a complicated guessing game. You need to be familiar with the divisibility rules. Then, you know that AB 0 AB can be split into AB times 7 times 11 times 13. And, you can identify the scope for AB. Since it's five different odd integers, A and B have to be odd integers. AB cannot be a prime number, otherwise, there will only be four numbers. AB cannot be split into two prime numbers, where one number is 7, 11, or 13. Otherwise, there will be duplicate numbers. In the end, AB can only be one of the 13 numbers. For each case, you can figure out the total combinations for the five numbers. For example, when AB is 81, the combinations can be 3, 27, 7, 11, 13. Or 3, 9, 21, 11, 13. Or 3, 9, 7, 33, 13. Or 3, 9, 7, 11, 39. You can calculate all the possibilities of those five numbers, the answer is 24. We have just went through all the questions for the recent contest. You may try to do some previous contests by your own pace. With more practice, you can be best prepared for any math competition. Thanks for watching.